Over 4 billion American chestnut trees once towered over nearly 200 million acres of forest on the eastern seaboard. The fruits of the American chestnut provided food for humans and wildlife across its range which coincided majorly with the Appalachian Mountains. Because of their rapid growth and rot-resistant wood, American chestnuts were also commonly used for construction from anything to cribs to coffins. Around the turn of the 20th century, an invasive fungus was imported along with Chinese chestnuts through the harbor in New York City. This fungus quickly spread across the range of the American chestnut, and today only a few chestnuts survive. The loss of this iconic tree has changed Appalachian culture and eastern forest ecosystems forever. Researchers at SUNY ESF, including Dr. William Powell and Charles Maynard, are bringing back this American legend through the use of genetic engineering. Here, Allison Oakes, who recently received her PhD for her research into the genetics of the American chestnut, removes plants from their sterile growth stage in growth media and chooses the best stems to root in soil pellets. Different cubes contain plants with varying placements of the oxalate oxidase gene, called different events. After being rooted using rooting hormones, the plants are labeled by event and placed in tubes in a growth chamber here in ESF's old greenhouse or at the new Upstate Biotechnology Accelerator, a research building opened in September 2016. These growth chambers attain nearly a 95% humidity and high levels of CO2 to foster the growth of these young plants. Once the plants are old enough to withstand the conditions outside the growth chambers, they are moved into one of ESF's greenhouses. Both the older facilities shown here and those located on top of Illich Hall have a greenhouse dedicated to the American chestnut. After a few months of growth in the greenhouse, the plants are moved to ESF's Lafayette Experimental Station to be planted in the field. Here at the experimental station, Dr. Bill Powell inoculates the stems of sapling American chestnuts with chestnut blight fungus in order to test their resistance to the blight. The blight will manifest in susceptible trees as a rust-colored circle on the stem, eventually encircling and killing the tree. The leaves of the transgenic chestnuts must be tested for the presence of oxalate oxidase enzyme. This is one of many tests that these plants undergo, not only to identify which events are most blight resistant, but to identify any other effects of the addition of this oxalate oxidase gene may have.